welcome to bsc statistics students in this class uh, i explain both rates i explain both rates in two particular parts in the part in part 1 i explain some uh, measures and part 2 remaining measures so come to the part 1 what is uh, what are uh, measures of measure of measures of uh, fertility what are measures of fertility usually to study the fertility uh, fertility studies in the of the population uh, the growth of the population is going to be indicated and uh, the various kinds of fertility rates uh, uh, we are discussing here uh, there are gender in general five uh, fertility rates we have uh, to uh, measure the fertility which are also known as both rates right fertility rates are both rates the crude uh, what are the measures crude birth rate cbr general fertility rate gfr specific fertility rate sfr a specific fertility rate age sfr total fertility rate tfr these are the five fertility rates so these five are called uh, uh, fertility rates or birth rates now we discuss one by one crude birth rate the crude birth rate we see this is what the definition of crude birth rate we discuss what is the crude birth rate it is defined as the number of live births to the total population crude birth rate cbr is is nothing but the number of live births and to the total population it is a ratio per k persons ratio to number of births bt and total population pt multiplied by k this is this ratio it is going to be considered as cbr now it is rate rate because we are multiplying with k therefore it is rate so the proportionate value it's a probability multiplied by k so that is 1000 multiplied by 1000 you will get per 1000 uh, uh, persons what is the um, birth rate so therefore uh, here we consider bt is the total number of live births in the given region during a given time period t pt is the total population in the given region during the time period t and k is going to be considered as 1000 that is per 1000 persons so what would be the uh, number or a um, proportionate rate that is what we are we want to express so cbr is nothing but crude birth rate is going to be calculated by simple formula bt by pt into k k is usually considered as 1000 bt by pt into 1000 that is crude birth rate cbr so uh, what are the merits of cbr we see merits and demerits the merits of cbr is nothing but it is simple and easy to calculate and readily comprehensible and it is based on the total size of the population hence the population details of the different sections or communities need not be required the entire population we consider that is the demerit we say these are the merits and uh, some of the demerits i explain now the demerits are here now we study the demerits it ignores completely the age and sex distributions of the population this is one of the very very important uh, uh, demerit it ignores completely age and sex distribution it cannot uh, consider uh, we cannot uh, uh, consider different factors like age and sex uh, we cannot calculate separately the crude birth rate birth rate cannot be calculated for separately for age and sex distribution in the crude birth rate cbr and uh, secondly cbr is not probability ratio this is uh, most important thing very very important it is not a probability ratio why why because since the entire population pt cannot be exposed to the risk of the producing the children the entire population cannot produce the children only female that is the reason why it is not a probability ratio even in the female population only the female population can produce the uh, children but even in the female population only 
those between the child bearing age group that's what terminology that is called the terminology child we we usually call the age group of female who produce the children the child bearing is called child bearing age group usually between 15 to 49 this is called child bearing age group 15 to 49 usually the 15 to 49 years of age group of female only can produce the children that is the reason why it is considered as child bearing age group are exposed to the risk that is these are the people only the uh, female person female uh, female in the age group 15 to 49 only are uh, in the risk of the uh, producing the children so therefore we have to consider in that age group that is the uh, only the population you have to consider and uh, number of births you have to consider and if you consider the ratio of uh, number of uh, live births and uh, uh, the female age group people those who are in the child bearing age group the female uh, in the age group then the child bearing age group only to be considered 15 to 49 years then only it will be probability ratio but it is not considering cbr is not considering therefore it is not a probability ratio CB, cbr is uh, not a probability ratio that is the second part second uh, demerit next one cbr is not suitable to compare the fertility situations in different countries or different regions so that is uh, obviously because of the we have we have considered the entire population therefore uh, uh, even it is not a probability ratio then we uh, then we cannot compare uh, we cannot use it for comparison comparative studies next uh, cbr assumes that women in all age groups have the same fertility that is the disadvantage even in the female the all the age groups uh, uh, the, having the same fertility even if you consider 0 to 5 years uh, they, uh, they cannot consider the cbr cannot consider certain age group cbr is a overall figure one particular figure which is not true since uh, the fertility of, of younger women will be higher than the elder women so therefore uh, the younger women will have higher risk of uh, producing the chil children but uh, whereas the elderly women uh, have uh, less risk of the producing the children so therefore less fertility the same fertility is not going to be accepted expected uh, in all age groups that is the one drawback of this uh, cbr generally you cbr is going to be licensed between 10 to 55 per thousand that is usual our uh, uh, by experience this is what the uh, figure it is obtained uh, for the cbr now we discuss uh, based on the demerits we discuss uh, another particular measure it is called general fertility rate you see general fertility rate gfr the general fertility rate gfr is defined as the total number of live births to the total female population in the reproductive age group that is called child bearing age group per k females and is given by per 1000 females that is uh, uh, we are considering that uh, uh, rate for 1000 so gfr is equal to bt divided by summation lambda 1 to lambda 2 fpx it is read as fpx it is going to be read as fpx into k what is bt total number of live births in the given region during a given time period t what is fpx the female population fpx is female population in the reproductive age group in the given region during a given time period t that is fpx summation lambda 1 to lambda 2 lambda 1 is 15 lambda 2 is 49 that is which are lower and upper limits of female child bearing age group female child bearing age group usually considered as 15 and 49 that is usual general age of considering the reproductive age group that is child bearing age group the k is usually considered as 1000 so this is the formula now the denominator value denominator value is nothing but 
the female population which gives the probability ratio female population and particularly a female child bearing child bearing age group child bearing age group those female persons the, who produces uh, who are able to produce uh, the children that is called child bearing age group in the age group we have considered the female population therefore now it is a probability ratio now you see merits of gfr and demerits what are the merits you see the merits now gfr is a probability ratio the first one very first one since uh, the denominator in the formula consists the female population exposed to the risk of the reproducing or uh, producing the children those who are producing able to capable to produce the children that is the age group we have considered here that is summation lambda 1 to lambda 2 fpx female population therefore it is uh, probability ratio that is one demerit second one gfr considered the sex distribution of the population and also age distribution to certain extent to certain extent uh, it is a it can be considered a sex distribution and also some age distribution okay right and gfr third one gfr reflects what extent the female population in the reproductive age group increases the existing population through live births gfr which reflects and which gives the female population in the reproductive age group it reflects the female population in the reproductive age group which increases the existing population so it is uh, obviously it increases the increasing the population through the live births so therefore it is one of the merit and a demerit come to the demerit gfr is not suitable for comparative studies with respect to time and geographical region since it overlooks the age composition of the female population in the reproductive age group so therefore it is one of the uh, main disadvantages uh, of the gfr it is not suitable for comparative studies with respect to time geographical region etc so that is the one of the disadvantages of uh, general fertility rate gfr so these are the two measures uh, i i have i discussed here i have discussed here crude birth, birth rate cbr and general fertility rate gfr and remaining three measures i discussed in part 2 thank you